Hey guys, how we doing? Rough rooster not sharpening. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start doing some more, uh, I guess, advanced sharpening technique videos and some things that, you know, people may not really think about, you know, when they're sharpening. Um, cause you know, I, I try to show people how to do stuff and, you know, sometimes I see people doing it and I, I don't even say anything a lot of the time and I'm just like, and it just drives me nuts. Um, but if you have, no matter what tool you have or, you know, whatever you have in general, you know, you need to take care of it. And if you're going to own that tool, you know, you need to learn how to properly take care of it. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm just talking about on the sharpening bench here, you know, if you're out somewhere or whatever, and you just got to get a good edge and you're stuck in the woods or whatever the situation may be, that's completely freaking different. You got to get what you got to get. You can't be picky up doing things like that, but anyhow, um, I'm going to show you guys a little technique here and <clears throat> it's pretty simple. A lot of you may know it. Some of you may not. First of all, you know, when I pick a knife, you know, I always look, you know, is this sharpenable? Is this a feasible edge to get a good or a feasible blade to get a good edge on? Is this a good blade shape? You know, is it going to do what I want it to do? But I mainly look for, is this thing going to be a pain in the ass to sharpen or is it going to be, you know, easy to sharpen? And I'm not talking about steel types or anything. I'm talking about the geometry shape of the blade. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you here. Um, this is a knife that was sharpened on a wicked edge. And this is not a customer's or anything. This is mine. I've, I bought this knife from a guy, and I mean, I really didn't want to, but he he was showed a real kind gesture to me. We'll just put it like that. Um, this blade is seriously ate up. I mean, this thing has been sharpened to hell and back, but it's still a good blade. So if you look, if you look in the back right here, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's, I mean, it's just, it's bowed right back here. And, you know, if a knife or a customer was to send me this knife, that little triangle that you see below this finger right here, that would have to completely go away, almost all the way up to there to straighten that out. And I'll show you exactly where this comes from. When people sharpen, you know, this is one thing that drives me nuts. If you look where I'm holding holding the blade, like about right here, they'll start sharpening right there and they'll just they go damn wild and shit and they don't they just wherever that when they throw the knife on the stone, wherever it lands, they just you know, that's how a lot of people do or they'll sit there and they'll do this and all that and it's like what are you doing or you know one thing that really gets me when they sharpen they'll make a whole pass and then see that shadow up underneath here they'll end the pass on the stone and the tip ain't even touching they'll just and, and you know that that wears a blade or a tool out so unevenly I'm going to take that burr that I put off on it that wears one out so bad and so unevenly eh, that's all right to use i guess i ain't gonna spend no major time on that thing but uh that's what i see when i see the majority of other people sharpen now for this to be done correctly when you see your plunge grind right here this needs to be right up against it or as close 
as you can get to it. See what I'm saying? So that way, you can sharpen the whole thing. You start all the way, sorry, you start all the way back at the sharpening tool on the plunger iron, and you come all the way to the tip. Now, this right here is the whole purpose of this video and stone positioning. So, if I was to sharpen this knife, just like I said, you guys have seen me sharpen a million times, this is how I would, I would do it. Now, if I started, we'll say that I start like this. You guys, let me get this right here and hold it up. Do you guys see the issue there already? It's not making full contact. But this is. See the difference? So, <clears throat> if you would sharpen this particular knife, you know, like this, up against your stone at an angle, then you're going to leave a small triangular spot, you know, like this. So, I'm going to move through a couple different knives and I'm going to show you guys a couple things here. So, this is my wife's Benchmade Mini Grip Till In. And uh, I can't keep an edge on this damn thing for nothing. And, you know, before somebody comes out and starts bashing Benchmade and talking shit about them, guys, I've carried Benchmade for years and years and years. I've cut all kinds of shit with them. I've broke Benchmades. And, I, I mean, they're a good knife. So, let's just go ahead and nip that in the bud. So, this particular blade shape, I love the types of blades and the way that they're cut when the edge is higher you guys can see what I'm talking about right there the edge or lower whichever one you want to call it then the plunge grind so you've got all kinds of room to sharpen out there and that knife will look right for a long time so these types of blade shapes not the shape up here ignore this but this type right here if you're one of the people that sharpens like this at an angle, you're still going to come in full contact pretty much wherever you put it. And I, I'm not going to drag this across this uh, extra course. We'll go ahead and use this strop as a reference. Just imagine the strop is a stone, you know, I won't damage my edges doing this. So you can sharpen straight up and down like I do. You can go to the side. Like this, you won't ever have to worry about it. Now, the other night, I was doing this open nail, op nail, however you want to pronounce it. I say op nail. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The French wooden single bladed knife that's got the weird lock on it. So, if you noticed the other night, I wasn't sharpening this knife like I normally would, you know, straight up and down. I was turning my stone to the side, or in this case, a diamond plate. You know what I'm talking about. And I was starting at an angle like this. The reason that I was doing that, if you look right here, you see where my entire edge, see the edge poking over the edge of the stone right there, or the tip poking over the edge of the stone down here, not the tip tip. If I turn it that way, I'll have an unused portion or unsharpened portion of the blade hanging off right there. So, if I turn this knife at an angle, you see that I'll be able to come in full contact with the stone. Like so. Now, Another thing that you need to look at as you're sharpening a blade is this 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 blade and this edge is eventually going to wear down this way. So like this one, you know, you need to look for, you know, stop pins and and your locks and things like that. In this case, this one has one of these little twisty locks. 
So if I continue sharpen like, sharpening like I just showed you, over time, that blade will be too short here and it won't have anything to lock against. So, you know, in that case, then you might want to sharpen this way. But, you know, eventually, like on a lock like this, you know, if you've got a little piece of steel down there, you know, it's eventually going to bend, you know, it being that thin. You know, if you put too much pressure on lock, you get what I'm saying. So, again, it's fundamentals. So, your stone positioning is very important to the way that you sharpen. And each knife has to be held and sharpened, you know, kind of a different way. You know, it's not all one thing. I mean, you just, that's hard for me to explain to you guys because I can't sit here and go through every single knife and tell you why I hold it the way I hold it. I get my knife, I put it on the stone, whatever feels good, that's what I go with. I don't sit here and go, well, you know, you know that, I want it laid back way, way, way far to in, impress my Instagram friends, you know. And, oh, look what the best sharpening thing can do. And just, I, whatever. But stone positioning is very important. Okay, now let's put our strop back up here again. Pretend this is a stone. <clears throat> now we have a Scandi. Okay, if you sharpen a scandy like this, you are going, let me show you here, do you see that little triangle right back there on the edge of the scandy? Yeah, that whole thing right there is not going to be sharpened. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So, in this case, I would position my stone like so, and I would sharpen my scandy like this. Shit. I would sharpen my scandy like this. Now, again, if you do it like this, like this, then you're going to have that triangle that's unsharpened and unused. It's going to make the knife wear very unevenly. So, to compensate for that, let's turn our stone this way. So, he's going to sharpen here on the bench. Okay, now I'm at an angle, but I'm still straight. See what I'm saying? See that? I've got full contact. Right there, all the way up to the plunge grind. Like so. And, I mean, it's still sharpening the same way that you would sharpen. Like this, for me, you know. But you just tilt it. Very simple. That's all you gotta do. Alright. <clears throat> so... Like I said, this is going to be a really simple, you know, kind of short video. Um, but, you know, these little tips and tricks like this, you know, everything that I've showed you guys over the period of time that you've been watching my channel, every single bit of it, you know, with the exception of a thing or two, combines into one sharpening. You know, you've got to apply all this stuff to sharpening. You know, if... I understand everybody does things a little different, but I'm showing you what I've learned over the years and my basic fundamentals that I have learned. Um, and guys, I've buggered up a lot of knives and, you know, had to go back and reshape things and fix things that, you know, I didn't do correctly before. And I mean, it's all part of a learning process. You know, some of this stuff, the majority of it I already know. <clears throat> There's a thing or two I run across where I have, you know, a little problem and I got to tweak a little bit and figure things out. But, you know, it's not very often. I've been doing this for a long time. I've sharpened many different style shapes and knives, steels, etc. 
And this to me is one of the most important things that you need to factor in <clears throat> when and while you're sharpening. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hey, if you haven't already, like and subscribe like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe um and i've got a patron account if you would graciously do so i would appreciate your support i need all that i can get right now with this channel i need to i'm gonna have to get me some more some more knives to sharpen on them i've got good stuff but i'm running kind of low you know because i don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and over with the same knife and show you guys the same thing and keep grinding down the same knife, you know what I mean? So, um, and share this video, if you will. Post it to Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I would appreciate it. You guys have a good evening. Take it easy.